marimba, we have four mallets and uh, to do to do four mallet technique, um, I'll be using the Stevens grip. There's many different grips, burden grip, traditional grip, but I'm using um, Stevens grip made, um, which was created by Lee Howard Stevens, very famous uh, marimba, marimbist. And, and to do this grip, you just have to have your, we call it the outside mallet or the fourth mallet um, okay. in your right hand in between your ring finger and your middle finger. So it's almost like you're making a fist and you're kind of wedging it yeah. there in between those two fingers, okay? Yeah, it's, it's kind of odd. Um, and you have to like curl your fing fingers um, around the mallet. Right. And then your um, third mallet, uh, which is in your right hand and it's your inside mallet that goes this is the weird part, but it goes like in your, in like, you make a little box with your middle finger and, and you put the, the mallet in that box, I guess you kind of slide it in and yeah. then you have your, and then you kind of like make a, like a, a, a gun, like uh, gun fingers and then, <laughs> and then, and then, and and then you just finger, right? and then yeah. you like tuck it in there and then you put yeah. the the mallet on top of your Gosh. pointer finger right and then you just set your it's hard to imagine thumb. that that could ever feel comfortable <laughs> right oh yeah right. For, like at the beginning it's like terrible you're like how am I gonna do this like I cannot there's no way this is sustainable but it you kind of your hand kind of gets used to it and just like I don't know. Right. It, it just feels natural as you pick up the mallets as you keep on doing it. So right now, about how far apart are those the heads of those two mallets? Just yeah. naturally. In your yes. Hand? So like when you pick up um, the, the the mallets, um, I would say it's probably like for me it's at like a fifth, uh, but some people it's at like a fourth. But it's like a fourth to fifth range. Let's hear what a fifth sounds like. Uh, yeah. Right. And um, but in this piece, of course. The notes are not always a fifth apart, right. so you're actually using your hands to change the distance between the heads of the mallets. Yeah, so um, so then to, to have like smaller intervals, which is kind of, it's pretty difficult. Um, you have to just kind of like roll the the inside mallet, so, and and you um, roll it towards, towards the outside mallet and to uh -huh. get that second. And yeah. um, obviously with your other hand too, and and so yeah, a lot of this piece, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like close intervals and kind of like technical, technical parts um, it, with like yeah. continuous sixteenth notes and so on. Can you give us a little yeah. taste of, of a moment like that? Yeah, nice. And yeah. Th what I love about it is that when you play, it just sounds so fluid. I mean, it's like water. Right. And yeah. we'd have no idea that. You're, you know, doing all this little stuff under the hood. You know, you're you're rotating yeah. and yeah, no, it's definitely hard. Like that seconds to get that. Like the goal is to have like a, a full like rotation, um, just like if you were at a fifth, but instead you're at a second. So it's like, you know, difficult for to to like keep really keeping your technique in check. Right. Well, and then at the same time, you're making music. You're creating a beautiful piece of art. And, right. you know, and balancing that with technique, it's just, 